Hi and welcome to another Beams DJ tutorial video. In today's tutorial we're going to show you how to create your own custom preset mapping using Beams DJ controller alongside Virtual DJ. Um, in Virtual DJ's home free software you'll see in the top close to the right corner they have a config section. In this area you have your mappers. This is where you want to go to see all your keystroke commands for any effect or option inside Virtual DJ. You can use the Beams controller to control each one of these using the lasers to play whether it be cue points, samples, loop in, loop out, any of the effects shown throughout the mapping section of the configuration option in, in Virtual DJ allows you to do some really cool effects using lasers. So what I'll show you today is how to do your own mappings and from there you use your own creativity and knowledge of the mappers and create your own little routine. So we'll give you a little idea of how to do so today. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go into the configuration section in Virtual DJ so you can see what the keystroke commands are for the certain effects you want to do. Today we're going to do three cue points and an effect on and off. So what I'm going to do here is go and look to the go to cues options in the mapping section of Virtual DJ. You can see here Alt plus one, Alt plus two, Alt plus three. Those are all the cue points throughout the songs that you can you can create on your own in your own timing. So here what we'll do is we know we've got Alt 1, Alt 2, and Alt 3 for cue points 1, 2, and 3. So we'll close this, go in Beams DJ, Laser 1 will do as cue point 1, label it Q1, go to Add Keystroke Sequence, and simply select Alt and the number one on your keyboard and now you've inputted it in. Close it, laser two, essentially the same thing, just rename it, add keystroke sequence of alt two and same for laser three. Now what we're going to do for laser 4 is we're going to make this laser control the effects on and off for deck A. So what I'll do is go again go in your configuration, look at your mappers, and then you can kind of see where your effects on and off are. Um, as you can see what I've done is created my own key and action learn option in Virtual DJ to control the effect on and off in deck 1 alone. Um, I've made that shift plus L. So we now know what that is. Go into Beams DJ. Label this deck A effect on off. Go into the add keystroke sequence and shift L. Now you've got the same keystroke is labeled in the configuration of Virtual DJ. Um, one more thing we're going to do is on the center button of beams, you can map these as well. I'm going to map this to play pause. And it's just your space bar. So tap your space bar. Now you have a nice little mapping, you know, custom created to a couple minutes. So what we'll do now is give you a little demo using these options and the controller and virtual DJ. Thanks again for checking us out. We hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more tutorials.